today, the Grimm's first full planet feature rundown. What is going on everyone? Today's Not So Daily Report covers the very first ever full in-depth look at the Halloween inspired planet called The Grim. Filled with tombstones, wicked witches, Dracula, rocking cheers that stalk you, and amazing spires, and so, so much more. This planet will surely spook you or make you nostalgic for the days of going trick-or-treating and going into haunted houses. I don't know. That's what we were going for? Scooby-Doo-like? I don't know. But let's get into the background information. I designed this planet back in October 2012 when I was feeling in the festive mood for something Halloween and was so inspired by my once favorite holiday. Uh, this planet means a lot to me because I started work on designing it the night before my grandma died. I spent the entire day that she passed away working on its features as a coping mechanism and focusing on it really helped me work through some of the things. She was always a fan of my creative writing and graphic design so I felt that I would put everything I had into making this thing a creative monster. I spent the next two weeks jotting down ideas and concepts into a notebook. Eventually, the team and I refined several of those concepts and ended up with what you are about to read or see in this video and post. As a reminder, before getting into the contents of this video, and uh, I have to point out that this planet was initially added in-game about two months before the name of the Doctor premiered, and the Graveyard Planet concept conceived nearly a year before we even saw Trenzalore, so the coincidences between them are purely coincidental. Coincidental. The Grim is not yet completed. Uh, some of the features you are about to hear, holy crap! Some of the features you are about to, about to hear are either incomplete or not added yet. Terrain and general information: the terrain of this spooky All Hallows Eve inspired planet is essentially a large cemetery on a on an island. It has automatically generating tombstones, coffins, zombie hand blocks that try to grab you, underground labyrinths, Sunnydale High School from Buffy the Vampire Slayer pathways leading you to key locations for the storyline, buried Egyptian style crypts, witches towers, mausoleums, and other generally spooky looking things. On this planet you may find thrilling and sometimes scary creatures ranging from a phantom rocking chair that stalks you unless you are facing its direction, all the way to realistic, realistic zombies with limbs fa that fall apart or the Wicked Witch of the West. This planet is filled to the brim with things that people will either love or be scared by. It has something for everyone. Hell, it even has its own friggin theme song. This planet is by far one of the most unique in the Doctor Climate, not just because it's the one that we spent the most time on, but because the terrain is not something that you might associate with Minecraft. While the planet is still infinite, there are only one or two land masses on this planet, depending on the seed that you get, with an infinite ocean of purple ooze similar to a witch's brew spreading across the entire planet. All the key action happens on the island. Now, boss mobs. There is a TARDIS memory matrix crystal on this planet, and this crystal has a few evil protectors. This planet has four different boss mobs who each hold a piece of the key that you will need to combine in order to access a crypt with the planet's memory matrix crystal. To recover these key, key pieces, you will face off against the Wicked Witch of the West, Dracula, the King of the Mummies, and a Minotaur, although some of the boss mobs may change eventually, as well as fend off their minions like Flying Monkeys or Mummies. <clears throat> the full list of current entities are below. Bosses will be found in four of the buildings included on this planet. Schematic Terrain Gen. We also have a unique system for schematic based terrain generation, smart path system, and nifty little stalact stalactite looking things at the bottom of generated buildings to make the inclusion into the terrain seem more natural. Structures are loaded into the world generation from a schematic and placed randomly around the island. I feel the need to clarify that this map is not pre-built and it is nearly all world gen. The only pre-built things are the buildings and structures. No matter what seed or save file for this planet you or a friend has, the path will always lead to where you need to go in between the boss buildings, but still be entirely different from what you or your friends are playing. Uh, 
path system. As mentioned above, there will be a path that leads you to and from important locations on the planet, such as the buildings, no matter what seed you get or where the buildings are generated on that planet. Although this path, there, I mean, along this path, there will be Victorian-style street lamps to light the way. Although I think we might have killed that and replaced that to random torches. I don't know. Uh, this planet has largely been neglected since the original habitat inhabitants died off or were mutated into the creatures that you face as a result the hedges on the planet have been left in a disarray uh, although there is a caretaker on this planet although i can't say much about that i'm not going to talk about the caretaker because he's key to the story so he's not going to be mentioned at all in the end of these list but he is very important and once the story is implemented, you'll see why. Anyways, while walking on the path, you may occasionally walk through uh, the old hedge arches. Uh, the Crooked Spires. We also have a cool feature we are calling Crooked Spires. These appear as some kind of offshoot of an underground plant. Uh, I wanted something that added to the aesthetic, and while working with Yofreak on the planet, we came to the conclusion that something similar to the Devil's Snare would work well. The spire system is also used to incorporate stalactites and stalagmites in caves and other such things. Well, how did I say that without tripping up, but I trip up on the smallest of words. Uh, anyways, model blocks. This planet also was the inspiration for us to create our own system for model blocks way back in Alpha 1.2. Wait, no, we were never on Alpha 1.2.5. Just 1.2.5. See, there I go, tripping up again. Anyways, you will see various amount of blocks such as the tombstones, cauldrons, sarcophagi, coffins, Victorian era street lamps, and many, many more. Uh, please keep in mind that this system was added months before Mo Minecraft added in their amount of block system, and we are not using Mojang system. It's ours. Um, whew, that's all I have for these videos. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's going to be two of them. Uh, some of the information in here may have been out of date. I rewrote most of it, but I had to record before I ran out of time. Please like, comment, subscribe. Check out the forums, info down the poll, Patreon, Twitter, blah, 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 blah. Eight, 19 minutes and 28 seconds. Roll the friggin' outro already.